Mr. Jait Malani, your take on the Supreme Court's observations here, uh, asking pointed questions on the delay in uh, in the cremation, on the post-mortem that was carried out, uh, why the rush, in a way, asking the CBI to go through the entire probe details that was carried out by the Kolkata police initially. Well, I mean, that's absolutely necessary, you see, because uh, there are very fundamental questions raised, given... Uh, you know, the nature of the offense. Uh, the most uh, glaring one is, uh, why was the FIR filed so late? You know, this is a, uh, we are now exactly a month into the incident, right? And there's no clarity as to even the time of the death. When did this assault take place? Normally, a post-mortem report, which has been conducted in uh, West Bengal, in Calcutta, right, gives you at least an approximate time. You know, it says 14 hours before, to 10 to 12 hours before, or some time period is given as to when the uh, uh, rape and the murder took place. In this case, the postmortem report seems to be absolutely quiet on the time. Now, you see, all this becomes very important if you don't if you don't ascertain a time, right? When was this matter first brought to the notice of the medical college authorities? Who discovered it? That person becomes the first informant. It is his duty or his superior's duty to then lodge the FIR. Why was a why was a uh, death which took place early in the early hours or late night, right? Uh, I'm, 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 I now imagine this post 11.15 p.m. on the 8th because the parents say they spoke to her at 11.15 on the, on the 8th, right? So why is it taken so long to fix a time date and why was the FIR file uh, uh, date of uh, a time of death and why is the FIR, FIR taken so extraordinarily long? And then it's a mandatory requirement to bring uh, the... Uh, you know, the forensic expert immediately because there are clues available on the scene of the offense and the, and the deceased body regarding fingerprints, etc. Why wasn't the forensic uh, 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 expert brought in uh, immediately? The law mandates it. Yeah. And, uh, and then, then, you know, the, there's all these uh, delays and the, the whole case diary is a mess as we found out in today's hearing. Documents forwarding the body, a vital document by which a body is forwarded after an inquest for postmortem, is not to be found. It's not sent to the CBI along with the papers. What has happened to that document? I mean, without that kind of a document, there cannot be a postmortem. What is going on? I mean, the, the, the West Bengal KF, look, if this was a straight case of a sexual offender raping and killing a victim, right? Why is so much time and so much, uh, you know, see, the, 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 the crime scene is uh, compromised. There's a delay in the FIR, no forensic evidence gathered. The parents are told it's a suicide. Look at all these circumstances. Why should all this have happened? I mean, people should ask, why should all this have happened? What was something, if this was a straight crime, right, it should have been treated like any other crime. Yeah. I mean, it's a heinous crime. In that sense, it's not a straight crime. But then... It's, you know, it was a very simple matter. A prompt action should have been taken according to law. The steps required for investigation should have been meticulously followed. It wasn't. And that raises questions. And every day, there is some mess in the records. Why is this happening? Hmm. You know, there, there's also been a passionate appeal by the top court asking for the protesting doctors to return to work. You have the Chief Justice himself saying uh, medicine, justice can't be denied or delayed for anyone. So please get back to work. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, you know, look, doctors have a duty. They can protest when they're not on duty if they want, right? They protest peacefully as the, uh, but, but when their duty hours, uh, you know, are ongoing, they should be there. Hmm. I mean, you know, you can't protest because you, first of all, doctors have, you know, made a Hippocratic oath before they, before they embark yeah. upon their profession. Right? Yeah. So, you know, it's their, it's their perfect duty. So, on that, uh, uh, you know, the doctor should resume uh, their, their practice and, uh, you know, attend to patients as soon as they possibly can. And when they, when they are free from their duties, they can go on protest. You know, final word, the BJP, the centre, has also uh, filed a pet, an application before the top court saying that the West Bengal government hasn't been cooperating with the probe. Would you want to elaborate? I haven't seen that, actually. I haven't seen that. So without seeing the central government, is it the CBI or the central government? The center has filed an application with the top court, alleging that... 
by the centre, do you mean a central agency like the CBI? The centre, the central government. The Union of India has but I haven't seen that. But I see that right. it's not possible for me to comment. All right, Mr. Jait Malani, thank you very much for joining us on that.